This is the guy who sold his own blood in his 6666 shoes. The same guy who hung on the cross. This is the guy that in his music video went to hell. This is the guy who twerked on Satan. Now he says he's pivoting to make Christian music. Is he trolling or not? Popular artist Lil Nas X has been making headlines in the Christian community. Lil Nas X has announced he's coming out with a gospel album revealing his Christian identity on January 12th. Now, this might have piqued your interest, but there are reasons to question the authenticity of this revelation. He's known for shock value tactics like selling shoes filled with his blood and dancing with the devil in a music video. Uh, this shift to Christian music has left many, including myself, skeptical. He recently shared an image of himself on a cross with his body barely concealed with the caption, my new single is dedicated to the man who had the greatest comeback of all time, J. Christ, January 12th. To many, myself included, this resembles more of a mockery than a sincere expression of faith. Even non-Christians affirm that this is a mockery. This comment reads, coming from a Muslim, this is really disrespectful, and we know damn well you're doing this just for money. It's disheartening to see him joking around with sacred elements like communion in a recent video. <laughs> Despite the skepticism, some believe his recent shift towards Christianity is sincere, while others view it as a mere trolling ploy. Adding to his faith-forward narrative, Lil Nas X has declared his enrollment into Liberty University, a Christian institution where he plans to pursue biblical studies. He posted the letter recently on Instagram. It says, congratulations, you've been officially accepted to Liberty University for the fall 2024 semester with a dual concentration in Christian leadership and biblical studies. Well, if you take a look at the letter closely, you'll find Jerry Falwell as a signatory to it, but Jerry Falwell died in 2007. How can a dead person sign such a letter? This goes along to prove that he is joking with the name of the Lord and everything that Christianity stands for. Nas X released his new single, Mocking Jesus and Mocking Christians. In his artwork for his new single, J. Christ, Nas X depicts himself as Jesus on the cross. Seen here and here. Now, we know Nas X was pushed to children. He blew up, got on Sesame Street, wrote a children's book, went and did school shows for young children, and then admitted that children were his core audience. Then we started to see what Hollywood actually wanted to push on the next generation, with Nas X coming out with a Satan show. The Bible verse on the shoe talking about Satan falling like lightning from heaven. Nas X doing a video where he's supposed to be what's in the Garden of Eden, then taking a stripper pole down to hell, seducing the devil, taking his life, and then becoming Satan. As videos and award shows, doing things with other men, goes to award shows, dressed like this, holding mock Bibles, then says he's gonna start this Christian era, putting out a music video, wearing a shirt that reads, if God doesn't exist, then who's laughing at us, puts out a tweet talking about getting on his knees for more reasons than just praying. And now we got this, where this man is blatantly mocking Christ. And people will defend this because they worship these celebrities. They have made idols out of these celebrities. People need to realize there is a spiritual war happening between the light and the dark, between good and evil. The Bible says people will call good evil and evil good. Put light for darkness and darkness for light. And that is exactly what is happening. This is a war against principalities and powers in high places. This is a war for your mind and soul, for your children's minds and soul. Time to wake up. Truly, the devil is fighting to, to pollute our minds because Lil Nas X is not the only one trying to mock God using symbols that belong to Christianity. These revered symbols carry profound spiritual significance and are treated with utmost respect within the Christian community. Sadly, a number of musicians over the years have exploited these symbols in their music videos, often in a manner that is irreverent and mocking. You see, all these famous people, all of them have marked Jesus on the cross in one way or another. Check this out. This is Tupac. This is the baby. This is Madonna.
And this is Lil Dicky. Galatians 6 verse 7 tells us, Do not be deceived. God is not mocked. For whatever one sows, that will he also reap. The consequences of mocking God are real and inevitable. You entertain us, you're going to pay a price for making a mockery of God. Mockery of God. You fathers and mothers, you just as bad as your children. Yeah. You drive around with your children in your car and SUV playing this rat trash. They, how can you reprimand your growing son and daughter mouth for being foul when all they listen to is the foul music in the house? That's right. F God, F Jesus, F church. F the Bible. Who can dance to such? That's right. F the church. F God. F, F the Bible. I fell in love with Satan. I want to have sex with him today. My Lord, my he Lord. knocked me up and I got a baby by him. My so we God, both can go out and play. Mm. Then you think that's cute. Yeah. Look at the many yeah. rappers and entertainers that's dead. That's right. That's right. young. That's right. You can make an icon out of them all you want. All you want. But if they cuss God, loss. 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 I don't care if it's Tupac. I don't care if it's Biggie Smalls. I don't care if it's Hot Pockets. <laughs> I don't care if it's Pat Man. I don't care if it's the Meow Man. I don't care if it's Cat Man and Minute Mouse. <laughs> you can make an icon out of anybody you want. you want. You die cussing, cussing God, God. you gonna burn. Oh yeah. You're going to feel the anger of God That's right. in the form of everlasting flames. That's right. I wish to emphasize the utmost importance of remaining steadfast and true to God. Even in the face of the ever-growing immorality in our world, we live in an era where sacred symbols are exploited, faith is mocked, and the spiritual is trivialized for mere entertainment. Despite these challenges, it is absolutely essential for us to stay committed to our faith. Remember, the world did not give us this faith and the world cannot take it away. It is a divine gift bestowed upon us by our merciful God. Therefore, we must continue to uphold our beliefs, celebrate our devotion, and strive towards righteousness. The world may change, but the word of God remains the same, a beacon of light guiding us through the tumultuous waves of life. Let us commit ourselves anew to our God, who remains faithful to us, even when the world around us does not. As followers of Christ, we are called to be the light of the world, illuminating the path of righteousness for those who are lost in the darkness of sin. We are not to conform to the patterns of this world, but to be transformed by renewing our minds in Christ. Therefore, we must exercise discernment when it comes to worldly music, especially those that disrespect or trivialize our sacred symbols and beliefs. We must remember that our bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit and that what we allow into our minds and hearts influences us deeply. It is not just about shunning worldly music, but about embracing the harmonious melody of truth, virtue, and God's love that resonates within all of us. Let our words, thoughts, and actions be a testament to our faith, and let us fill our hearts and minds with that which is noble, right? Pure, lovely, and admirable. Lastly, we are called to pray for Lil Nas X and others who have strayed from the love of God. We should pray that the life-changing power of God touches his life and turns his heart towards the one true God. That's it for this video, and I hope to see you in the next one. Please subscribe if you like our videos. God bless you.